Hey guys, Anasha here, and uh, today I I wanted to do like a like a pickup video of just things that I've been acquiring over the last. This is actually like the last two months, so there is quite a bit here. I need to do. I want to do a monthly video of what I'm actually adding to my collection. I've been doing a lot of you know picking up things to resell, but these are for my my own collection, and it's been piling up. And I need to just go through it, get them, make sure they're in my app. And then uh, put it away. Uh, I got to figure out how to get more room in the game room. That's a different thing. So uh, let's let's go ahead and begin into this mess here. Uh, Limited Run, I believe last year started doing shirts. I picked up their first shirt that they had in the series. Came with a card. Uh, I'm not going to bother opening it, but that's what that is. It, Lost, uh, I lost one of the packages I got in. I just found it. And so, yeah, I had some games in there, which are somewhere in here. Um, got a package from Super Rare Games. And in here we have Brothers. Unrailed. It's like a railroad puzzle game and creaks I'll pull them out of here uh, later but I was leaving there for right now um, I got this because uh, I think my kid will have fun with this later down the line uh, the particular game but also if you saw recently that they actually announced that there is going to be a house of the dead remake and hopefully this accessory will work with House of the Dead. That would be awesome if it did work. But regardless, I think it would be fun to have this little accessory when my kid gets a little older and shoot some chickens. He fell. Ah, uh, where to begin? Uh, uh, let's get rid of this thing. Uh, was at a... TJ Maxx, I think, and they had some 3DS uh, cases there, so I went ahead and picked it up. Picked up a case. Uh, it was like four bucks or something. It's an Animal Crossing one. Uh, nothing too special, but I uh, just picked up because it's you don't see brand new accessories for your 3DS anymore. Oh, this this is actually a pretty awesome Kratos figure. Yeah. Comes with his axe. Half his axe. It looks broken. Yeah. His axe is broken. I wonder if I did that or it came like that. I don't know. But I will just glue it back together. Uh, I, I don't like buying sealed figures because I want to actually display them and I hate opening them up. But I probably will open. I mean, this guy's already open. That's why I bought him. He was 13 bucks, and actually was less than that. Um, uh, uh, a sealed copy of Lollipop Chainsaw. Kill some zombies. These were some of these were super cheap on Amazon. Uh, they had a sale on Resident Evil Two and Three on Amazon and I believe that they were less than 20 each for these. I think I want to say they were okay they they had one of them was on sale and then if you actually go in there it says you could buy Resident Evil 2 or the collector's edition if it was sold out obviously and they said uh two and a three pack and it was like 35 bucks for the pair and I did not have these two. I have the full set of North American Resident Evil games now. Uh, Daymare, third person survival horror, ba -ba -ba. Doom 3 VR, uh, this was 20 bucks at GameStop brand new, and I love my PlayStation VR games. You'll use a controller with this, so you don't have to use the, uh... oh, PlayStation VR aim compatible, which I have one of those. Can't wait to play that. That one, that one will get played. Um, 
picked up De Blob one and two. These were like eight bucks a piece or something, eight or nine bucks a piece. Uh, I forget which side. Uh, this one was really cheap also. Overdrive Mech City Brawl. It's increasing some PlayStation uh, 4 there. Uh, I got this a little bit ago, uh, Monkey Island, and uh, The Secret of Monkey Island. This is a Sega CD game that uh, Limited Run put out. Um, I had to return my other one because along the back there was a crack going up the back uh, where it got crushed, and so they sent me a new copy. I sent back the old copy. Awesome. Now I'm up to two Sega CD they and that so another playstation 4 game mystic bell oh this is a limited run uh, number 321 way forward um i think they also made those shantae games oh uh, here's some uh, uh switch games we got away journey to the unexpected this was a limited run. Uh, they distributed it. They didn't actually... It's not one of their numbered releases. Vitamin Connection, uh, number 59. And number 60, uh, we got uh, Switch Force Collection. Mighty Switch Force Collection. Another way forward game. Another way forward game. Not a way forward game. Uh, this one I for forgot that I actually pre-ordered this. This is the Trails of Cold Steel 4. A game series I probably won't play. Um, I wanted to play it, but I hear that this game is extremely brutal with dialogue and being extremely slow. You'll just get bored for 60 hours and it's cool for like 5. And it's a very, very long game. Switch games. Okay, so I've been, this is the game I'm currently playing right now. I picked up, uh, I have the regular copy of Pokemon Shield, but this is with the expansion pass. This has both both expansions, DLCs, Isle of Armor and, um, what is it? The Crown Tundra. All the DLC is on this disc. It costs a little bit more. Uh, Walmart has them for, I believe, 80, but you know, GameStop has it for like 90. Uh, my actual copy of Pokemon Shield is in here, <laughs> but I was playing it. I'm like, I don't want to go, you know, I want to buy, I want to play the DLC and, uh, I figure I'll just get this because I want to collect the different versions of those too. And, uh, so I've been playing it. It's great. I think I'm done with it now. Um, I was looking at this box and I'm like, cause I'm trying to figure out, okay, what game do I want to play next? Uh, because I think I'm <clears throat> mostly done with Pokemon Shield. Don't have a quite full Pokemon uh, Pokedex. Really, like the original 400 in Shield, I am like maybe 30 short. I could do it, but you know, like I... That's just going to be a lot of grinding and work on that. Because I have to get my Pokemon sword out. Try to find those Pokemon. A lot of research. Raising them. I just, like, I, I don't need to do that. I want to play something else right now. Uh, so I was, like, looking at this box, like, okay, what recently do I want to play? And so that's what I'm going through. I'm like, oh, I might as well do show this and then get a lot of this stuff put away into the collection. But uh, I also picked up Rain Fit Adventure. Right now I am on a, uh, I wouldn't say keto diet. I'm on an Atkins diet, but also doing, I have a lot of uh, bands and stuff like that that I've been you know, doing some cardio with that, and I figured I will give this game a try again. Um, the ring is in the other room. There's the game. <coughs> uh, oh, that's not new. Uh, Pokemon Pearl. I had a couple copies of this. This is just case and manual only, and a friend needed one, and I brought two of them, let him pick it out, and I just tossed it in here because I know it's going to go back to the collection. Oh, ooh, Warhammer, Battle for Atlanta. Um, I forget where, oh yeah, I ordered this off of eBay. 
So one thing I did find out is most eBay companies now, like uh, if you look at, um, if you go on eBay and you see Goodwill, most likely they're going to say when they're, they don't list just disc only games anymore, unless it's a really high end, but they'll mention if it's, if they'll, they'll say at least has the case. So I'm like, okay, I rolled the dice. Uh, this was a $6 game and it actually came with the case and manual. So I was surprised, uh, you know, I just knew it would come with an actual case. They say in their descriptions now, comes with at least the original case in good condition. So, the, the disc in good condition, so that's why I picked up this. This is a Warhammer card game. I'll leave that one for a moment. Um, there was a online sale for, uh, claim sale. Uh, Koozie was putting it on and I picked up these from them. Uh, these are uh, replaceable plates for a new 3DS. Uh, this is the, not the XL, but the regular 3DS, but it has to be the new. You could change out the plates on those particular ones. And so I got a Yoshi one. Did not have those and I love my handheld, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, let's go over uh, this is the limited run newsletter. Don't care about that. Alright, here's a couple PS4 games. We got Dragon Quest Builders 2 and Dragon Quest Heroes 2. I uh, did not have these. I actually had this one on PS4, but not sealed. Uh, did not have this. These were on uh, Square Enix did a, a sale on their website, and these were super cheap. Like less than $10 each cheap. <clears throat> Something is stuck itching my throat. I just had some peanuts a little bit ago. Alright, uh, continue on. Uh, this is Distraint Collection. Uh, this is number... Uh, this is 996 out of, I believe they do 2000. And this is East Asia Soft um, number 11 release. I have all the I have the full collection of those games. Uh, what do we got here? We got Jinsu Wanderer, Tohio Tohio Jinsu Wanderer Reloaded, an Is America game. Um, I forget where I picked this up, but I'll tell you, I picked it up at a game exchange. Yes, picked it up at a game exchange. Did not have this one. Now I do. Um, something to keep uh, your eye out for is this Ninja Turtle game. These Ninja Turtles, Mutants Mayhem, um, Mutants in Manhattan. This game is like spiked up drastically. And I picked up a couple copies of this. Uh, one for my own collection because I actually want to have it in there. And I still found it for 40 bucks. So uh, they've been going for like 80 to $90 right now. Mass Effect movie. This is Paragon Lost. There's some movies in here, not many. Uh, I just, I just, this was on my, uh, my work table, for work, and I just like I'll throw it in my collection so I could get back here. But my only PS5 game that is still sealed, I never played. Who knows when I'll play it? Oh, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Complete Collection. So this is the complete series of Scooby-Doo on Blu-ray. Uh, this usually comes in a big box, but the box was gone. This was at Walmart, and this was just sitting there just like this. And I asked the guy, how much is for? How much is this? And he's like, uh, he's like, there's no price, there's no barcode on there. I don't know. Like, well, yeah, it's supposed to come with it. I showed him a picture. I'm like, it's supposed to come with this whole thing. And he looked around for it. He's like, well, I could just sell you this if you want this. How much do you want to pay for it? I said five bucks. And so I grabbed that. That is, that box set goes for like 70 or so, I believe. Last time I looked at it. Uh, a couple more LRG games. I got Doom 64 on the PS4 and on the Switch. Uh, this number 365 and this is 81. 
Uh, Sega Genesis collection on PS2. I've got this on so many systems now. Now I have it on the PS2. Uh, some PS... No, sorry. Nintendo DS games. Uh, going for my complete collection. We got Mummy. Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. We got Casper... Scare School Spooky Sports Day. Six dollars, six dollars each on these. Six dollars for this X Men Destiny, and eight dollars for Dynasty Warriors Fighter Battle. Um, this is during the. These were all from Movie Trading Company slash V Stock, uh, and they were doing their buy to get one free on used games. So got a little deal there. Uh, this is another East Asia soft game, uh, Synergia. Uh, I got number 104, and this is their, I don't know how many, 94, no, they didn't put out 94 different ones. Oh, 56 Vita game that they had. Uh, we got Namco Museum on the GameCube. Padding out the GameCube collection a little bit more. Uh, PS5, uh, PS5. Persona 5 Strikers, P5S. This was new old stock for... No, actually, no. This was actually sealed. This was sealed, sealed. I plan on playing this sometime. But I think I, I decided that I want to actually finish Persona 5 first before playing it. I open it up ahead of time because I'm like, I'm going to play it. Oh, part of that claim sale that I got these from, I picked up some... Dreamcast games. This is a uh, Metropolis Street Racer, Slave Zero, Wild Me Metal, Reclaim the Future. Uh, it's a Rockstar game. Nothing too crazy about those particular guys there. Uh, um, these two were a GameStop, not a GameStop, a Goodwill find. Uh, they had. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Um, this was just sitting on the shelf for four bucks. And then same with Sonic Adventures 2 Battle. So I got both of those games, and they are really great condition. Happy to have these in my collection. Uh, Fortune Street. I actually had the game, but I did not have the manual. But I found the game at GameStop for. $12, so I went ahead and picked it up again. Uh, there's like a ding on the cover here, but it's not in the artwork, so I might just do some swapping around, see what's a better copy. Another East Asia Soft uh, PS Vita game, this is Super Skull Smash Go To Turbo. I got number 853 on this one. Let's move these guys. Uh, this was sitting at a half price books, and it was Mickey Mouse Magic Wands. Uh, this particular copy is going to go to Radical Reggie. Coming your way soon. We got uh, Crash 2, I'm sorry, this is PlayStation 2 Crash Nitro card. This is part of a set I did not realize when I bought it. It says right there. I didn't look up to see what else is in that set. It's probably one of those, you know, not like that, not like that. It's probably one of those, hey, here's a two disc, I mean a two game pack kind of thing. I don't have any back here. That's probably what that was. Uh, Sonic 2, not for resale. I got that in the claim sale, too, for like a few bucks. No one wanted it in there, so I'm like, I'll take it. Throw it in my thing. You know, I'm already getting some stuff. I didn't, and I actually did not have Sonic 2 on the Genesis. So putting that into the collection uh, is cool for me. It's kind of getting, like, this is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, oh, this is a. A little bit harder game to find 
Uh, this is Arx Vitalis, Enter a World of Darkness Like No Other. Picked this up, well, I used my trade credit, this was $45. I traded a bunch of stuff in, like some toys and stuff to um, a game called Retro Madness and one of their locations, they got three locations in Dallas. I picked up this game uh, as one of my, using it, and I'm saving the rest of the credit. I have quite a bit built up. So I was doing a thing, like here's all the Switch games, here's all the PS5 games, PS4 games. And you can see what's winning right now is the miscellaneous. Uh, Fighting Rage. This is number 93 from Little Run. Um, John Easton wanted this one, and I did not buy two of that one for once. Uh, another Kimco game from Limited Run. Um, this is another RPG. They're, they only do like a thousand or fifteen hundred copies of their RPGs that they do, and I keep missing out on them. But I was able to get this one, and uh, I'm only missing like a couple out of the whole set. Uh, let's talk about this little guy right here, Final Fantasy X and X2. Uh, this actually has both games, and both of them are. So when you buy the North American one, uh, X2 is a digital only. This, and when you get it in Asia, it has them on both. Now, and it's a region free. They do have an English language option on. I one of my versions I already have. Uh, it had English. I don't know if these these particular ones do or don't. Um, I did not look at that. I'm having trouble here with the box. <laughs> a little flap doesn't want to cooperate in the bottom. There we go. Uh, but this was like, the guy's like, I don't know if it's region free or not. It, you know, it was like 15 bucks on a carry. And I went ahead and picked this up. You stay there. Um... When I got this Animal Crossing one, they actually had some Switch cases there, like for just a couple bucks also. This is Doom 25. Uh, one, I guess the 25th anniversary of Doom. Pretty cool, well, sticks up, embossed or whatever, but that's pretty cool. And then I also picked up a Mario Kart one, which is also pretty cool. Uh, we got another Xbox 360 game. Oto Ot Otomodius. Excellent. This is a shoot 'em up. I picked this one up at. Uh, I believe I picked this one up at Retro Madness also. The guy was talking about who wanted that fight and rage. He traded in. I, I he was actually riding with me. And I, he had a whole bunch of these Xbox 360 shooters, and he traded them all in for credit without even asking me first, and I would have just paid him cash. John. But I ended up buying this one from them, so they flipped it really fast. And also, it's inspired by the legendary Gradius games. PS2 game. Uh, the Legend of Alan Dar. Nice complete. Did not have this particular one in the collection back here. Yeah. So this is uh, on clearance now. Deadly Premonition 2 is on clearance. This is Wal uh, This is not Walmart. Yet. This is GameStop new. You know how they do it. It's new, but GameStop new. Yaga. Uh, PS4. This is uh, number 357. Great caliber. And, uh, yeah, another limited run game. Mario Tennis Open. I forgot where I got this from, but, yeah, did not have that in there. I'm missing a lot of those Mario games. Uh, Golden Sun 2. This is the Lost Age. Uh, now, the story on this one is this is a box manual insert only in fairly decent condition. This is the way I got it. I'm thankful that the guy put it in a bag because I got the box that this got shipped on in eBay. The box was in a bag itself and a little note on the back of it says, sorry, you know, we, we're sorry that we soaked 
your box and I river water dunked it in there. The whole inside was soaking wet. Everything was soaking wet except for the game because the guy saved it by putting it in a bag. Thank you. But I need to find the cart still. I don't have the cart. Um, thankful to have this one at a reasonable price is another spiked game. Mm -hmm. Speaking of getting expensive games, we've got Tales of Fantasia. This is in such mint condition. I actually might send this off to get graded because you could still grade your opened games, but there is no creasing in here. The manual is flawless. Everything about this is beautiful. I got this from Phoenix Resale. I just sent a message when I saw he picked it up and he sent it in protector and I was just like, wow, this is, it's amazing. So I'm gonna get this graded. This will probably be my first graded game if I don't ruin it until then. But uh, So I found a, I was thrifting a half off day at a, what's that place called? Thrift Giant here, it's a local thrift store. And they had an, a box light Kind of, well, not like a neon sign, but a box light has two light bulbs inside of it. Solid metal box it says telephone with a piece of plastic. The lights will just light it up, and it says this is telephone. There's a pawn shop near me. I got that for ten bucks, half off five dollars. I paid. There's a pawn shop near me that has a Nintendo DS. You can't see it up here because I'm, I, it's off frame, but I got my PlayStation Two light up there, neon light. That's what I was pointing at. Um, she's got a Nintendo DS Neon, and I really want it, but she, she's like, I just want a whole bunch of lights to put in my pawn shop. I was talking to the owner, and she's like, never going to sell it. So I went ahead and brought that light to her because she likes lights and signs and stuff like that. And uh, she's like, what do you want for it? I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't tell her how much I spent on it. Like, it's from the 1970s. I did some research. It has original light bulbs and everything, original mounting hardware inside of it. And so I went ahead and uh, I, I, she she's like, we did get a whole bunch of new Wii and Wii U stuff. And I picked up a pair of Nintendo Wii U controllers, the Mario and Luigi one. Uh, the Mario one did come with its silicon. Um, they're in really excellent condition. The Luigi did not have its, whatever. It still has got the little wrist, band, wrist straps in there and um, the, she had these labeled for 60 bucks there and I was just happy to just do this straight up trade. So I got these for technically five bucks and she's happy and I'm happy. I didn't have to sell that on eBay because I were some on eBay for like a hundred dollars plus shipping. Uh, this, these right here are worth about that probably. So Happy to get these, did not have these. These have the Wii Motion Plus built in, so that's cool. Uh, went to a pawn shop and they had a, uh, this is a 3DS case. And I picked this up. And a DK Power A controller. This is a wired one. Uh, I think I paid three bucks for this and like 10 bucks for this controller. Like my cases, I, you'll see a theme of that. Uh, ben 10 Ultimate Alien Cosmic Destruction on the PSP. Complete. Getting down to the end. Uh, oh yeah, Rollins Curse on the, uh, the, on the uh, Game Boy. This was in such bad condition. This, there was corrosion and, not corrosion, um, uh, gunk like just plain crap inside of this this cart I don't know if someone put chocolate inside of it or something I pulled it apart gently cleaned it up with alcohol um, and uh, toothbrush just gently brushed it got it all cleaned up got it working and this was a $15 game $15 purchase which is pretty good for that game uh, some more limited run stuff I'm almost done down to the last few uh, samurai Jack, uh, Battle Through Time, Return to Obra Den, uh, this is Limited Run, number 78, Samurai Jack was 79, 
Grandia. I ordered two copies because I wanted to open one. This is number 80. I'm going to run 80 on the Switch. And I ordered these two. I ordered two copies and they gave me two different covers. I didn't know, did not know they had two different covers and I wanted to open it up and play one. But they sent me two different colors. Covers. I can't open them now. And then I did a Kickstarter a while ago. You know how Kickstarters goes. You get them. This one actually came through a lot sooner than I thought it would. Um, there's some Kickstarters where I'm still waiting for my items that I backed in 2017. And they're like, you'll have your reward in 2017. 2021, they still haven't done anything. I mean, they're working on it. They're putting more content. It's just a problem with some Kickstarters and stretch goals. Once they actually add stretch goals, it just makes the length of development further and further out. And uh, yeah, we're still waiting for it. But this is one I backed up. This guy named Pink um, does amazing pixel art. Uh, he did this game called Battle Axe. This is the badge edition. Nice big box there. And uh, this was a physical reward. Uh, I think I backed him for like $50. It also came with a soundtrack and some stickers. So this one will be coming out by from uh, Limited Run. We'll be putting this one out in, uh, sometime towards the end of May that you can order this. Uh, we Kickstarter guys, I guess, get it really early, uh, but they will make it. It is not distributed by them. I think it's like 50 bucks for this version. Um, maybe 40 for the regular version of it. And um, I haven't opened this up yet. I was kind of waiting to confirm if the one that limited run is gonna be the exact same one. If it is, I'm gonna open this up um, and play. I, this actually might be the game that I'm gonna play next uh, because I need to find a game in out of these this whole mess because I'm done with Pokemon for now. A lot of fun. A um, bunch of little Playasia stickers. And... Oh, yeah. So I'm going, I went and uh, during the, during the sale that Movie Training Company had, I picked up some GBA games. Now, GBA, I think, is going to be a console that I want to give my son to play uh, when he gets a little bit older, so I picked up some games. Uh, he loves some Hot Wheel games. I picked up uh, Tom and Journey, Infernal Escape, uh, Planet of Monsters, Shrek Wreaking Havoc. I think Video Game Nerd did a thing on that game. Uh, but Ugly Martians. I saw the name and it was awesome. Got Crash and Spyro Super Pack. Powerpuff Girls. Smash Pack. Super Smash Pack. Another Hot Wheels game. Batman Returns. Pitfall. Monster Force. Uh, Mucha Lucha, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I think this was one of the most expensive one at like ten bucks, and almost all of these were like three to five dollars, and then buy two get one free. Another Hot Wheels uh, Stunt Track Challenge, uh, Shrek Super Slam, Danny Phantom Ultimate Enemy. Ultimate Enemy. I got Spot because I like. Because it's to get one free. I had to get one more game, so I picked that. Uh, I got a Game Boy Cleaner. Yeah. Just a whole bunch of GBA games I could add to my inventory. And uh, there's a bunch of them that I bought to sell that would cover the cost of all that because uh, they did not check their prices on their GBA games in a while, apparently. And some of those games that I did get for just like less than five bucks are going for 30 plus. Um, yeah, so it was pretty cool to get all that. Uh, then the very last thing I got was I picked up, when we were at TJ Maxx, they also had this uh, Turtles 
like little toy chest. This is a little fold up thing. It'll fold up uh, nicely. But I figured I'll get this for my game room and put this in for, for like hiding my controllers and everything in. Uh, I thought it was a really awesome box. I'm planning on going back and see if they got one more. Maybe, you know, give one to my son. I don't know. I liked it a lot. You know, it's not that sturdy, and I think he would probably destroy it, but it's pretty cool to have for right now. I mean, maybe I'll give it to him later. I don't know. Anyways, that is my pickups for the last couple months, I would say. Um, I mean, I did a video about, you know, things specifically like, you know, the Nintendo 64 from Japan bundle. Or the or I also picked up that uh, AVS. I did specific videos for that, but these are just everything else for the most part that I picked up from my collection. What was your favorite thing that I did grab? Um, I would say that I'm pretty happy about these uh, GBA games. I don't know. I did pick up the first Golden Sun Complete also. But I don't know where what happened to that one. I think it might be in my case over there already, and I didn't put it in this stack. Um, those GBA games are pretty sweet. I'm really happy to have those. Um, my limited run collection of all my sealed limited run games is the cost of the like the value of that is just crazy right now. Um, I remember seeing Shantae's up to. $430 right now in price charting for a new copy of that. There was a couple that sold for $700. Uh, that's just crazy. I, you know, I'm buying, this collection is for me. I'm not reselling it. You know, someone offered me a lot of money for it. I won't say no, but yeah. Oh, the I'm pretty happy with these, you know, these couple Game Boy games that I got, these GBA games in the box. Getting harder and too harder to find. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. This is video is long enough, and uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you. Later.